And let's do a quick sound check real quick see if it works does it work yeah it works hello everybody welcome back to my channel it's been over almost two months november 26 was my last live stream as if you guys know i'm currently covid positive so um i'm still not really over the hill but i wanted to get this out of the way i wanted to talk to you guys about this i've been flying the mavic 3 since Two months now and i had extensive flights with it already um and you guys know that i'm not like the regular influencers i don't have to bang it out right off the bat i'll do it as it comes and as much as i can have my hands on so um let me say hi at first there's like so many guys that were waiting for this i've seen johnny trusdell already he was first i was first there arizona drone dude i see you i see drinking and droning i see uh mike henry and southwest videography Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, I really appreciate you guys uh, swinging by and uh, jumping in. And yeah, Mavic 3 has been released uh, back then when the Dobo came by over here. He was here for a couple of days, um, swaying by it. Then he had to go back. He had some business to attend. And I'm just happy that I actually got to pick up the Mavic 3. And my expectations, though, on the other hand, was that the Mavic 3 might have been a upgrade now throughout this live stream i will explain to you guys why i don't think that this drone literally was an upgrade more than an addition to my beloved hotel evo 2 pro and on the other hand i wanted to let you guys know that i was able to order the light and i'm waiting for that to come in and definitely videos for that will be coming out too um i'm currently a little bit sweaty still yet from um from uh that whole COVID stuff, I'm still on the meds right now. That stuff is not a joke, man. I tell you, that stuff is really, it's some heavy stuff. Anyways, if you guys have any questions about the Mavic 3 and you guys want to know anything about it or you want to know something in specific uh, that you might have questions that might have not been answered by any of the influencers or all the other videos that are already out there about the Mavic 3, uh, just ask. Just shoot it in the, in the chat and I'll, I'll, I'll try and address it as, as quick as I can uh first off let's say size comparison most of you guys already know uh size wise that this thing is pretty much same size uh just lighter than the Autel evo 2 pro um sound wise on the other hand the mavic 3 is way quieter um like literally way quieter 
And um, so I don't, I don't, I, I think the battery management wise too, like when you look at it, this one is a 72, 74. Am I getting it wrong? No, 70, 71. 71 million milliamp and this one is a 5000 so smart battery management wise so i don't know if there's a difference in cells and what type of lipo you use but two years old and you can tell with a 5000 you get more flight time based on weight too and i think it has to do a lot with software management size wise they're the same weight wise they're pretty much the same too uh there's not much difference and charging wise because I have the charging hub, but I also have the aftermarket one for my auto. Where is it? I just used it. Anyways, uh, there's an aftermarket one, too, that charges all three batteries up at the same time, other than the hub, where the hub does either the lowest one and then goes all the way around or does, like, parallel charging. And um, so, so far, these batteries don't charge up as quick. This is already my fourth set my fourth or my fifth set of these because I flew this bad boy for 11,000 miles already. So yeah, I have a lot of mileage on that. Uh, these batteries right here, I think this is still my first set. And so far they have been handling it pretty well, like very well. Like I can't, I can't complain about it. <clears throat> so now let's see you ordered. Uh, wait, where's my hang on, hang on. I have one where there you go. Click. I ordered the Nano Plus in September. Why, why does it show up like that? Wait, no, that's not right. Hang on. Something is not right. I got to fix this. Classic. Classic? Classic. There you go. So now the comments should show your name as well. Boom. There you go. I ordered the Nano Plus in September. Still waiting on it. What? I know that Nano Plus. Didn't didn't people receive the Nano Plus already? Um, I... I I, I don't know what to say. I hope you didn't order it from autopilot.com because or, or autopilot. Autopilot is not is not an official affiliate with the auto robotics guys. So they are like a China company. Johnny Truesdale knows both best about it because he went through that stuff and he literally he just had to return all this stuff. So oh, and you're gonna love the light plus. I, I sure hope so. I sure do. I hope. Can you shoot video and photo at the same time as the as the Evo 2 does? Yes, you can. You can actually film and then you can press the button and it does take pictures at the same time. It just doesn't have the AEB where it takes multiple pictures sta uh, stacked, but you do can take pictures during the time I did it before. And I actually have footage for you guys that I want to share with you guys uh, while talking about performance wise for this video quality wise. And we're going to look into that whole sharpness issue that plenty of people are looking at. It's not so much a sharpness issue, but anyways, we get to that. Walter Hall, what's up, my man? A lot to LA. I'm sorry, I'm still a little bit out of breath. This COVID stuff is pretty bad. So, why satellites take so long to get on the Mavic 3? I have the same problem with this. Um, it's been lately, ever since the last update on this one, where they added on the 16 times zoom, uh, I had problems with this one as well to sync. So, for those of you guys who don't know, in order to prevent flyaways, you always want to make sure that your satellites on the top right corner are always uh, enough that your drone can set its home point. So while with the Mavic 3, all you got to do is sit there and wait. Um, that wait can be up to two minutes. I have usually an average of 30 seconds to a minute, which is not too bad because I usually I, I just turn it on. I have my control on my hand and stuff, and I just keep an eye on it. While I just rearrange things around and make sure that my camera is running and stuff, because I do videos for like YouTube and stuff, right? Now with this one, on the other hand, uh, the Autel Evo 2 Pro, um, with that one, the way that I figured out that you have sufficient satellites, besides that it tells you uh, on the top right corner as well, I believe, um, I usually go into general settings and then I set my home point to the aircraft. Usually it does not let you do that if you don't have sufficient gps and therefore your home point will not be updated up to the point until it is and that can take some time with this one as well and i do not I say it again i do not take off unless i have sufficient satellites uh for set the home point that is to prevent flyaways or maybe that the home point is still from the last location that i just went to you know what i mean so you don't you don't want to run into that problem that you don't have the home point set so, Walter has a nice hat. Yes, 
I appreciate it. I love my hat. I, I love my cowboy hats. I, I, I always was reluctant at first if I should wear it in my videos. And then I just decided I just got to do it. I love my cowboy hats. And they help me a lot too when I, when I fly because it's like a natural shade extra. Cryptoman 5000. My M3 connects almost instantly. Some units do. Majority of the units don't. So consider yourself lucky. Um, Aloha, Lynn Smith. What's up? Welcome back to the, uh, I know, Aloha to the UK. Order from Droneworks. Drinking and droning. Order from Droneworks. Um, I can only recommend Droneworks. I have never had any problems so far with Droneworks. Uh, Zach Davis has always hooked me up. Original Dobo um, has always made sure that I get some extra stuff thrown in there. And uh, he's a very generous person. He's a very nice person, too. Okay. So uh, this, I think, is one of those uh, spam messages. Yeah, you can. Bye-bye. Uh, you have a nice day. <laughs> Walter Hall, Evo 2 Pro, still the best. Um, yes. For a two-year-old unit, just as much as people were surprised back then that the... Is it? Which way I got to go? This way? Right here. That the Mavic 2 Pro was a two-year-old unit and still was pretty decent in image quality. But once you had the image quality figured out with the settings on the Mavic 2, on the, on the Alter Evo 2 Pro... There was not much that the Mavic 2 Pro could do against it because that brings me back to image quality. We're going to get to that part too. So, but yeah, Evo 2 Pro in my eyes is still the best. I'll see what the Light Plus does against it. And uh, hopefully that stuff, you know, is going to show up pretty decent. I've seen some really good videos on it. Uh, for those of you guys who didn't see it, somewhere down in the community tab, I actually switched my, I don't know if you guys can see this, switched my uh, micro SD cards. So from the green uh, auto, no, Samsung Evo Select, I went to the bluish Samsung Evo Select. Um, they have a faster writing speed. So with the Mavic 3, if you have problems with the 120, if you film in slow-mo, which is usually 120, then you might want to pick up those. And they're actually cheaper than the green ones. But um, I use both of them. I use them both for the auto Evo 2. But the blue ones lately, I've been using it for the Mavic 3 just to make sure that I have sufficient um, power and speed to run it through <clears throat> for recording. Because otherwise, sometimes you get those stutters. Um, and that has to do with the writing speed. And apparently, the green ones are not fast enough for the 120. So, yeah. Um, let's go and try to see um, if I can change this. Uh, yeah. Oh, it works. So that's what I was looking at. Uh, so I made a couple of you people. That's why right, we never had the live stream. Yeah, I made a couple of you guys uh, 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 moderators too now. So that's why I get the blue wrench. I finally figured it out. Um, and so, yeah, if you see like people like that, that I don't know, that Russian dude, whatever. Uh, yeah, please feel free and just kick them out and stuff. Just, just, just help me moderate this channel. It's probably going to grow bigger. We have 20 people watching right now. That is plenty for me. For me, that's plenty. I cannot imagine having 200 people. It's going to be hard to read through the chat, but definitely. Anyways, let's get back to the... Uh, uh, I wanted to share this screen. So now, please, if you guys can in the chat, tell me if you guys can make out which drone is what. Uh, I can put this on full screen. Full screen, Leo. There you go. Full screen. So now I'm going to play this for you guys. And you guys are going to be able to tell me which drone shot this was filmed with. Or which drone shot this was filmed with. I mean, which drone? The Mavic 3 or the Autel Evo 2 Pro. And that's what brings me in the end game to pretty much the image quality and why I do not believe that the Mavic 3 is better than the Autel Evo 2 Pro but more than an addition because of the features that it has. So let's see. It goes around. There you go. There we have a shot right there. And then we have this shot right here. So if you guys can see that. So let's see. And there you go. Most of you guys already answered it. Uh, I've seen it in there already. First one, most of you guys caught it already. Yes, that is the Autel Evo 2 Pro. So the first shot was this shot right here where I went around this submarine. That is the Autel Evo 2 Pro. 
Um, what I do like about the Alter Evil 2 Pro, and which brings me over to uh, share screen. Why did I turn it off? There you go. Which brings me over to the image quality. Let's blow it up to full screen. Now, the reason for this is when you look in the background right here, these uh, this is a 1080 stream right now, so it's not 4K. But in 4K, when you film with the Alter Evil 2 Pro, you have this as a very detailed version of the imagery itself. Oops, of the imagery itself, um, where it looks very very detailed. Like if you go around, let's let's back this up. So now the background itself too. If you zoom in and you put this onto 250 percent. This is now a moving image. It's not like that. It's like super detailed right now. But when you look at this kind of stuff where the background is still very, very, very detailed. Now, on the auto, on the Mavic 3 in this background right here, I have noticed that when I have taken shots from further away, that these details in the back over here get lost. So the first shot that I showed you here with the moving part is not, it's not really... The best shot because I'm moving sideways, so I have interlacing in there. But if you move forward as well, maybe I have it here. So if you if you move forward like this, these details in the background over here are way more better preserved on the Autel Evil 2 Pro than they are with the Mavic 3. Uh, the Mavic 3 itself does not preserve as much detail. It's different from what people say. Uh, sharpness it has nothing to do really with sharpness. Um, it is the sensor itself, I believe. Um, image quality wise, if you film in 5.2 or 6K or 4K, nowadays 4K is like the new norm. Like plenty of people move up to 4K. Um, you, you can agree with it, you can disagree, it doesn't matter. But in my eyes, the detail on the Mavic 3 is not as intense as it is on the Alter Evil 2 Pro. And I have seen that with multiple shots. This is just one of the things based on image performance or video performance that I do not that I do not prefer the Mavic 3. I do like the Mavic 3 and I like it for certain features. That's why I believe that it's a great addition to the Auto Evo 2 Pro, but not an upgrade. So if you don't have the money for it and you don't want to really spend it for it, you don't have to because I'm going to go through the through the things that are actually add-ons that the Alter Evil 2 Pro cannot provide that are really, really good on the Mavic 3. And um, I need some water. My, my mouth is dry already. But let's go look through the chat real quick. <coughs> uh, oh, somebody even asked me about the cycles. Uh, how many cycles did you get out of the spent Evil 2 batteries average? In average, about 60, 60 to 70 before she started acting out. A moment a battery starts acting out for me, uh, no matter what it is, and I see jumps from like 60% down to 40% in like 30 seconds, that's when I usually get rid of it. Um, I do not keep them around. I'll just get rid of it and I pick up new ones. I'm picky like that because I just don't want my bird to fall out of the sky or risk anything. So in average, 60 to 70 is a good one. I had a battery that made it 90, 94 or 95 before she even acted dumb because I looked at it afterwards. And I was like, I was reading the cycles. Like, oh, 94 cycles before you acted out. That's pretty tough. So, but the good average is 60 to 70 real cycles, um, full on discharge, depleted. Uh, down to like 20, 19, 18% of the battery um, and then recharge it up. So that total cycles is around 60 to 70. You're always happy and sending good vibes. I'm trying. I'm still sick. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm, I'm, I'm sweating like hell. I think I still have fever, but I just wanted to <laughs> get this video to you guys. So this one was, okay, when I asked, uh, first one is level two. Yes, you guys got that right. That is, that is really good. And we have hello from RB Drone 61 enjoying your content. Thank, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Are the two other colors too saturated for the Alter Evil 2 Pro? So now that's another thing. Um, let me pull that up again. Um, the one thing that people don't really show, which I have a personal issue with, is the the image quality between the two. So now you think that this is too saturated, right? No, it's not. That is actually how the natural colors look like where I was flying. This is how we perceive it. Uh, just like this color that you see right here, 
this is the colors how you perceive it when you are with the when you are there personally when i'm personally there the, the, the bushes are this green this this background right here is all like that brownish and the blue, the water is literally blue because the sky i mean water reflects the sky and the sky is deep blue now when you look at the mavic the mavic 3 itself color wise it did not have that it it sort of has a color science already implemented and i believe it has to do with the hasselblad stuff um the the water is bluish but more on the darker side the brownish is a little bit more tan uh it's not really reddish as it is as it shows up in this one it is literally when you are there personally it is in that reddish color um and this one is more like a sand or tan color. And the green in this one is more like a NATO green, more like dark green. While when you are there, it is literally vibrant like that. This this green that you can see right here, it is where I'm at in Kona over there. It does have those vibrant green colors. Uh, that is just simply how Hawaii is. It, it has that. So color science wise, Mavic 3 has a different color sense. You can play around with colors in post, so that's not really an issue for me um, based on... It's just to match it. Um, I just prefer to have it that my Altered Evil 2 Pro comes closer to filming with my Sony cameras, like the Sony a7 III that I'm streaming with right now or my 6400. It comes closer to it. So when I do vlogs and stuff, um, then I, I still have... Um, this, the color is the same when I fly my Altered Evil. While with the Mavic 3, I have to play around to match my footage of my vlog together with the with the drone footage as well. So depth of field. Yes, you can say depth of field, that the depth of field is not as intense, as good as it is with the Altered Evil 2 Pro. <clears throat> the one thing that I've noticed what bothers me on this, on this Mavic 3, which is intense, which is really intense, share right here this screen right there share and blow it up and let me turn this you see this do you guys see this 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 green balls right here these green balls right here are lens flares from this from this drone that are projected any single time that you play around with this drone like when you film against the sun and it's always there it doesn't it doesn't matter how beautiful the shot it just has these green balls in there and they do dissipate a little bit if you play around with colors. So now when you look, this is actually more vibrant. This is not as bland as it looks here. I mean, it might not look bland to you guys, but when we are here in Hawaii, when I'm filming this or when I'm standing outside and I'm looking against my bushes and my trees that you see here, because this is in the back of my yard, they are bright green, like literally bright. It looks almost like you're looking at something oversaturated. And the Mavic 3 does not catch that for some reason it, it just doesn't so now getting back into this one you see there's again there's these these this green ball right here you see that and it's irritating like i mean they could have done a different science to it's the glass i guess it's the lens the way they have it um it it changed a little bit by using not to use any of the nd filters but it's still there as intense as this i would have wished that it's a little bit more softer and you can't really remove it and it comes softer when you play around with the settings as you guys can see here you see this these green balls right there they're terrible they can ruin a perfectly great shot and i'll show you an example of that that's one of my favorite shots that i shot not too long ago and this green ball just literally messed it up so to show you my favorite shot that i have which is my morning coast shot this morning coast shot is one of my favorite shots that I just took. Literally, it's one of the most spectacular things that I've caught in the early mornings. And it gets ruined by this. <laughs> like, literally, it has this green ball in there. And it's like, really? You're going to do this to me? So that is one of the things that really bother me. Um, I do not want to play around in post to have it removed or whatever it is you know because it's going to create like the blur and i just wish they would have had a different type of lens flare because when you look at lens flare of the auto evil 2 pro they just don't have that like their lens flare on the auto evil 2 pro is just so much nicer it's bigger it has it looks nicer i don't know how to explain it but <clears throat> Jody Spring says, hey, with it, uh, loving your channel. Just went from the Mini 2 to the Evo 2 Pro. I love the Evo, but I'm struggling with the lens distortion. Do you experience that as well? Lens distortion? 
I do not have a lens distortion, my friend. Um, I'm trying to. No, I don't. I don't have a lens distortion. Love the whale video. Yeah, that that was great. Yeah, I got lucky on that one. Johnny Trustel. To me, that first footage looks overexposed. You can tell because the whites of the boats are blown out. Yes, it was overexposed, but uh, it was based on that I was going around, and once I had the sun behind me, then I I needed to have the full color spectrum there. That's why I took the shot afterwards. The footage that I actually used was the one coming around. So that's why I didn't show the one where the sun was facing me. So it sounds like the M3 color science desaturates a little bit. Yes, it desaturates and it, it adds on a little bit more. How can you say that? Like darker, darker things so you can blow it up. It's not bad. It's not bad of a color science. You can work it really, really easy. Like really easy. Belize would be an incredible spot to use a drone. I have never been there. I, I wish. I can't stand M3 lens flare. It's not the Pro 2 either. Pro 2 is fearless looking at the sun. Yes, it is. And I have to agree with it. And that is one of the major things why I do not like the Mavic 3 color science and the, the performance of the video image quality. It's something I can work around on, which I do and which I really like. So, but uh, yeah, the green ball thing does suck. And it does literally like, I mean, you guys seen that shot. That shot is one of my favorite shots. Uh, it's the morning sun coast shot. And that is like, it ruins that shot so terribly just to show you guys <laughs> one more time. <laughs> it's, it's literally, I, I, I mean, I mean, look at it. You, you see it right here. I mean, you have all this beauty and then all, all this beauty right here. You see it all right there, all the waves crushing. And then you get that green ball in the down water. And you're like, really? And I didn't see the green ball when I was filming at the time because I wasn't paying attention to that. Uh, I was looking at the drone and I was looking at the ocean and, and it just it came out so beautifully. And then afterwards, when I came home and I looked at the freaking footage and I'm like, damn. There's this green ball. So, yeah, that's I, I was I was really um, disappointed, really, really disappointed in that. So, yeah, that's so much to image quality in comparison to Alt Evil 2 Pro. I still think that the Mavic 3 does not match the color science, nor does it match the detail or clarity. Uh, with the sharpness part, I do agree it does have some fringing in there uh, if you come closer to objects and stuff. But, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Whew. What causes that green dot? I do not know. I believe it's the way, I don't know. Like, when I look at it close to, like, I filmed it the other day. You want close up. Come on. You want close up. And um, I believe it's the lens that is in there. The way it's curved, um, it has that weird curve in there and i think it has to do with the glass and the reflection of it because that's usually what lens flares do what just happened oops i hooked up somehow i'll fix that later i hooked up the nd filter on the corner <laughs> and it doesn't come out right now anyways but i think it has to do with the glass i think it has to do with the way it is um manufactured or what they have been using and um the reflection of the glass itself might be an issue on that so that might have been it <clears throat> i had that green ball show up in one of our best shots from that sea mist video i showed you i was lucky though and i stayed low enough to crop it out see um i i don't want to deal with having to crop out video because can you imagine to crop out one beautiful shot and then you just don't get the whole beauty of it and I mean, it's just that's a personal thing, but I just don't think that the green ball is supposed to be there. I think they could have done better. Mikey, AP, aka the Drone Ranger. Hey, brother, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm still having fever, I think, um, and body aches, um, but I'm I'm pulling through. I'm I'm all right. I'll, I'll be fine. Uh, what's in that water, eight oh eight? Come on, fess up. <laughs> just water. It's just water. I promise. Just did sunset in Belize with my Evo 2 Pro was awesome. Yes, I believe it. Um, because the sunset power of the Alter Evo 2 Pro is very strong. Like sunrise, sunset, and I do a lot. I have, I mean, I have 
I get sun all the time. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> did you see the distortion in the photos or the videos? I've seen it in both. Um, distortion, you mean the, the detail? It's in both. It's uh, the Mavic 3 shows up in both for the pictures and for um, videos. Like when I did the real estate and I shot it and I actually shot with both drones and I preferred my Alt Evo 2 Pro because it gave me a lot more detail and more clarity. The depth of field was way better than it was with the, yeah, you have a bigger spectrum. You have a, a, a bigger image uh, based on the Micro Four Thirds sensor. But the one-inch sensor usually captures already what you need uh, based on property and housing. But the surrounding areas were blurred and they weren't as detailed. So I don't know if it has to do with the unit, but I think it has to do in general with the image quality. Uh, because the other unit that was here with Dobo, he had footage of his that he gave me. And it's similar in detail that the detail on the further spectrum is not as good or further distance is not as clear and detailed as the one with the Evo 2 Pro. <sighs> that works video that works video was spectacular that works a whale do you mean the whale video yeah i got lucky on that one i got super lucky the south florida fair just wanted to pop in and say hi at y'all what's up tj how you doing my man have a great show yes you too have a great uh fun at the florida fair that sounds fun you should fly the drone there if you can or at least from further away, which brings me to the next one. Features on the Mavic 3 that you won't, you will not have it as great as you have it on the Mavic 3. One of those things, even though people complain about it, but it is the Explorer mode. The Explorer mode gives you the option to play around with that camera that is on the top over here, uh, which lets you zoom in. Now, if you guys have followed my channel, you guys have seen the video with the whale that I encountered. So that was a total, I mean, I was stunned that I caught that, um, that I actually seen it. It was, I looked up at the same time and then I looked down and I seen the stuff come out of the water and I'm like, huh? And I looked at my screen and I, I, I looked, I zoomed in by using my fingers and then all of a sudden the, the, it switched into Explorer mode and I was like, huh? and that's when I realized, oh, okay. And then when I was lining up the shot again, it popped up again because I thought, I might have seen something out of the corner of my eye. And then I use the explore mode not to interfere with the whale, not to be too close. I don't know if they can hear it, see it, whatever it is. But I got lucky for those two minutes to film that whale and to get as close of a shot as I got because I was still up 260 feet up in the air because if I would have gone lower, I would have looked against the sun. I wouldn't have been able to see my bird. And I'm very, if you guys know me, I'm very... Uh, that type of guy that tries to maintain visual line of sight all the time, no matter what, just regardless of you have capability of flying four miles or not. I'm not going to do that. Um, never did, never will really. And as long as I can see them, I will, I will keep that. So that's why I have to stay up so I don't look into the sun too, too directly and I cannot see her no more. So that was great. The Mavic 3 zoom capabilities are unbeaten. Um, this cannot. I tried it with 16 times zoom, and there's a video coming out too that I've been working on as a direct comparison. I know plenty of people don't want to see direct comparisons anymore of the Alt Evo 2 Pro and the Mavic 3, but they are both great drones. And if you're a DJI fan, by all means, go for it. Is it too expensive? In my eyes, it's not. You get three batteries that come with that pack that fly you for, I'd say, 34, 35 minutes. Um, the the Alt Evo 2 Pro. I got like 30-ish, depending on how good the weather, but usually 20-ish, 28-ish, even though it was pronounced at 40 or whatever. And battery power-wise, you get these three, and they're really good. They're, they're very, very resourceful batteries, and you get to see a lot during that time flying. Now, you have three of those in the Flymo combo. Would I opt for the Cena version? Probably not, because I do not like ProRes. I don't like the huge files. I don't like... I don't think there's that much more of dynamic range to play with, to upload for YouTube, to upload for people who want to see 1080p or 4K, whatever it is. You know, you can film and vlog. Uh, DJI is really good with it. The only difference that these two giants get against each other is, first of all, image quality detail wise, which is minimal. But if you are like me and you pick it up and you fly it a lot, then you're going to see it and you're going to know, OK, there's a difference in both. And I prefer the Alt Evo 2 Pro. 
be some clarity and detail, field of view. Some people just don't care about that as long as they have their subject there and the rest doesn't really matter. And the second part is the geofencing. I had multiple jobs already where I could not use the DJI Mavic 3 because she just wouldn't let me. Even though I inquired about permission, I inquired about all this other stuff and I said, hey, uh, I really want to get this done. And I tried to take off and I couldn't. Um, it just wouldn't let me. And my Alt Evo 2 Pro is just, she doesn't care. She just takes off. She just says, I don't care. I'll take off here. You know, it's it's it leaves it up to you. As long as I'm not breaking any federal laws and all that stuff, I should be good. I'm doing a job. I got permission from the tower. I got everything. You know, I got my lands permission. It just wouldn't feed into this damn program. It just wouldn't. Um, both of these drones, well, the Auto Evo 2 Pro, at first when it was released, it was came out with the rugged bundle and the and the GPC case came on like twenty five hundred dollars. It was two years ago. Two years ago, things weren't as cheap. I mean, as expensive as they are these days. You know, nowadays, gasoline costs $5 a gallon here. A gallon of milk is like $8 here. You know what I mean? A loaf of bread is $6 here. Two years ago, it was down to like 4 So in comparison-wise, that $2,500 I spent two years ago, today is like $2,750. So they added on $150 for the Flymo combo. Can I deal with it? Yes, because the bag that does come with it, is a, is, is a super good bag. Yeah, they call it man purse and all that stuff, but it's a good bag uh, because it folds unfolds as a backpack and it has it's very solid. Like, it's a very, very good manufacturing. So whoever created the bag, I said it before in one of my other live streams, whoever came up with that bag deserves a promotion because he really puts a lot of thoughts in it, has metal clips, has all these leather straps, and it's it's sewn really well. It's It's good. It's a good bag. <clears throat> quality wise she is quiet she flies um stable um were there flyaways yes they were but like i said i i blame it on pilot error on most of them i do not really believe that people waited for the gps signal okay and that is pretty much what i believe on that part are there mistakes yes um is there malfunctions of drones? Probably, but I do not believe that they followed the full specs to be uh, to do like the, the, the security flight that you hover for like 30 seconds in front of your eyes to see if she act kind of funky, whatever. They're not taking their time. They just want to get the shot out of there. And it's like, oh yeah, let's do this. And they're rushing it. And I believe that's when those problems happen, you know? And even though I want to get this shot right now, I still not going to force it because I know how much money I just invested into this and dropping three grand out of the sky. Oh my God. I mean, I would have to sleep on a couch for a long time. <laughs> Flight path, my friend, how are you doing? Aloha. How are you, my friend? Aloha. I have people like Flight Path come to my live stream. How is that? He does some great, great videos about all the Mavic 3 stuff and everything. Like when you want to watch detailed how to use things, Flight Path is your man. That's that's the guy that you got to go to. I watch all his videos like all the time because they're really, really good. They're very detailed and they're like straight to the sauce. There's like no beating around the bush or anything like that. So check them out. Definitely. Most of you guys probably know him anyways, but check them out. After my fly off, I launched super carefully now. Yes, um, I would. Like I Knock on wood so far, I only had one flyaway. That was my one of my DJI, I don't know, my Paradigm office. And that was my own fault because I just, I had Wi-Fi interference and I just played around too much. And I was, it was my fault. <laughs> but it was my fault, you know. He's been the top of everything here lately at Flypath. Yes, he is. He's, 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 he has like so much equipment. It's crazy. I'm jealous, but I can't afford to buy all that. But I have a lot of stuff too already. So I'm probably going to get rid of some of this stuff. Most likely, I will sell this Mavic 3. Uh, most likely, because it was just an as an addition. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a great drone. It's It, it does. It flies very well. It has very smooth stick input. I got used to my Alta Evo 2 Pro, so I can't really... You know what I mean? Like, when you when you drive a BMW all the time, you jump into a Mercedes, then you're going to look at it all. It's not like my BMW. It's the same that I have with the Auto Evo 2 Pro. First, when I flew the, the Mavic 3, I like the Cena version. I like the, the way she's smooth and slow. And 
but you can get the same as long as you have stick control. And stick control is one of the things that are really good. The one thing that DJI still has ahead of Autel is gimbal ramping. Gimbal ramp is what they have ahead of Autel. Um, Autel always has this, uh, this, this, this initial goal on the gimbal when you want to move something. And it's really, 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 really irritating. You know, um, my pig is just going nuts right now. So I hope you guys don't hear it. But anyways, Hot Rod in Daytona, what's up, my man? He says, waiting on Evo 3 since no geofencing. Afraid it will not meet my needs as the M3 doesn't meet my needs. Um, I don't know. I mean, Autel always comes up with good stuff. So I'm, I'm hoping that they come up with something cool. But... Nowadays, when you look at it, these drones, they all do the same thing. They have four, four propellers. They have some great sensors in there, and it's usually like one inch and up. You know what I mean? Things like that. So it's like, oh, this pig is killing me right now. I don't know why he's grumbling. Can you guys hear it? I don't know what he's grumbling for. It's probably something in his cage right now that bothers him, like a gecko or something, and he's afraid of it. It's a fauna pump pig, but he's afraid of it. So, but price-wise, um, these two do match whatever was done prior to this. So they match. Like it was just a time difference that you had in there. It's just like a hundred bucks more, whatever. But it's China made, whatever. They all China made. Yeah, all the plastic, all that stuff. If you say it's made in USA, it's simply because it wasn't assembled here. And I said it before, I will say it again. It's usually made in China, assembled in the United States, and then they put a stamp on it, made in USA. You know what I mean? So we, we rely heavily on the China stuff. And then you guys seen it all. If you guys followed the news on chip shortage and then power shortage and this whole debacle about US and sp espionage of drones and electronics and stuff i i could go on and on but i i just don't care i just want to fly drones you know what i mean that's pretty much what it is i agree with about waiting for a good for good uh, gps signal and making sure the home point is set 95 percent of these drone flyaways are these people that just launch it without checking their stuff and i believe that's true um i i that, i think that's one of the one of the things so fly passes are you getting the light on a nano light my friend because i do not have the money for spend a thousand dollars for a sub 250 drone too i'm sorry i just i just can't i cannot afford that i looked at it and i was like okay it's gonna be the nano or <laughs> the light nano or light. so i decided i opted for the light because i wanted to see the comparison i think it's more the light plus or the light is the battleship against the air 2s and i think it's gonna blow the air 2s out of the waters because it's going to be similar to, to the Auto Evo 2 Pro. And the Auto Evo 2 Pro in my eyes is better than the Air 2S. So the light is pretty much the answer of Autel towards the Air 2S. Because the Air 2S had a lot of um, sales statistics. You know, um, they sold a lot of those. And it's a really good drone. I mean, these drones these days, they're really good. But with Autel, you don't have the geofencing. And I bring it up again. It's the geofencing that most likely breaks it for most of the people. You know. <clears throat> the politics are hurting our hobby. Yes, they do. And then you have idiots like the other day flew it in the, what, the stadium, the Bengal stadium when they was flying around. Like, who the hell does that? Well, I mean, why would you do that? You're going to mess it up for all of us. It's terrible. Hot Rod. It's why I'm still interested in the Evolve 2 with the telephoto lens on the 4-3rd. Yeah, but I don't know. Just the fight characteristics and the delay and stuff that I've seen. Uh, personally, because somebody here in Hawaii bought one and Evolve, if you hear this, you guys need to work on that firmware. <laughs> MC, why there are zero to none information or comparison between the Evo 2 Pro versus Evo Lite Plus? There will be as soon as mine's gonna come in. So, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and you'll see it. If you hit the bell, then usually it shows up too. Um, anyways, uh, Tom Ailing says, I want the nano, but we'll wait till. April and see what the Mini 3 has to offer. The Nano was a disappointment. I've seen and I've heard about it. Um, so far, the Nano was not impressive. Um, to be honest, I wasn't impressed by the Nano. Um, and to pay $1,000 for a sub-250, I think DJI has them out of the waters on that one, no matter if there's geofancy or not. If you fly a drone that small, it's literally for hobbyists, you know? So it shouldn't be that expensive. 808 State, do you think they will release the updated... One inch from the light plus for the for the Evo 2 Pro. I don't know. That I don't know. 
I have been trying to get in touch with Alltail, and Alltail has been successfully ignoring me. <laughs> I mean, just, I'm too small, you know. I'm just have, I get 30 guys watching right now. You know how happy I am. I'm so grateful right now, and I'm sweating because I'm still having. I think my fever is breaking right now. But I wanted to get this out of the way. The problem is they were released from Altel Pilot before they were ever officially supposed to be released. And I don't think they were ready for market. Yeah, well, like I said before, don't get this wrong. Altel Pilot is not official retailer with Altel Robotics. So that is just, a, it's the dealer. It, they are pretending to be a supermarket dealer for Altel, which they are not. They just have the name, AltelPilot.com. And they're selling the stuff. Is it .com? I, I just know that they're auto pilot. So therefore, but that's why there are problems. Definite problems. Anyways, besides that, the features that I hear, I have seen the night vision on this or night vision, the, 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 the low light capabilities. And after playing around with it, I believe it's better than the auto Evo 2 pro. Don't quote me, but I just think it's better um, because <clears throat> I flew both of these guys during christmas eve or new year's eve when had um fireworks all around and my area is perfect for that because i do not have any ambient lighting where i'm living i'm like living on the end of the moon part street you know we don't have no street lights we don't have no city lights anything around all subdivision is black it's pitch black if there's no moon it's pitch black you can't see nothing um and after playing around with it I believe that the low light capabilities of this, because it's a bigger sensor, it lets in more light. Um, I think it's better Not by much. And again, it comes down to the image quality and the detail. Okay. But I believe it's better, like low light power wise. But that's because it's a bigger sensor, so it lets in more light. Okay. It's normal. What was that? Oh. So, and that's pretty much it. It's been an hour, guys. Um, let me answer some more questions right here. Do you think the Evo 3 will be cheaper than the Mavic 3? I sure hope it will be because I will not be able to afford anything over three grand. Definitely not. My wife is not going to jump for it. I might have to sell my motorcycle first. <laughs> so other than that, um, I hope you guys had fun watching it. I hope uh, I could give you some info and input about this stuff. I have a video coming out with Drone X Factor as soon as I can get it to him. Uh, I have been, like I said, laid down sick with COVID, um, tested positive. Now my wife has it, and I'm really sorry I gave it to her, but it's just, it's what it is, you know what I mean? Like, we tested positive. I'm just glad my kids didn't catch it, and we isolated them on that side of the house. We stayed on this side of the house, and today I felt all right, um, so I, I just wanted to pop out this live stream and get some info out for you guys, and hey, so many people showed up. I appreciate all of you guys. Don't forget, if you guys haven't done so, like, subscribe, leave me a, a pff, aloha or life, a, a, a love some in the in the comment section below. And then I'll see you next time and stay tuned for the next videos coming up. Aloha, everybody.